Hey guys, how you doing? It's Oscar. Haven't seen you in a while. How you guys been? Hope everybody's good. Um, been working a lot, um, so I haven't been around. Been working a lot. Um, fortunately, overtime has been has been pretty available, and this is, um, you know, one of my few days off uh, that I've had in the last few weeks. You know, I'll do a you know eight or ten day stretch, and then have a couple days off where I'm trying to catch up and hang out with you know with the family and and do stuff like that. So I haven't been. But haven't really had a lot of time to sit and um, you know really enjoy my shave. I mean, I enjoy my shaves um, I, because I make time for them. But actually, um, the whole process of of, of uh, videos and recording and and uploading and editing. I mean, if you've done it, you know that how long it can take on YouTube and and you know and if, especially if you make edits to the video, it takes forever. So um, just haven't been afforded that time. But um, I am off today. I do have a lot of things to do. But I've been sitting on this project right now. Um, this this video and and giveaway that I want to do for for a month for over a month God almost two months now um, it's going back to um, the last event we had down here in Riverside which was uh, at the end of July so so unfortunately I've been sitting on it since then but um, I hope hopefully it'll be worth the wait um, real quick I wanted to do a shave of the day recap um, that's kind of what I've been doing with my last few videos is shave of the day recaps um, I haven't seen this one being used a whole lot lately or even uh, in, in shaves of the day pictures um but it's definitely one of my favorites it's earl gray and ginger by reef point this one i got turned on by it was pretty popular a lot of people were were mentioning it um a year or two ago um and so i tried it out a buddy of mine had some and i tried his and then i said i gotta get a hold of some so this is fantastic the uh the uh the ginger and then the bergamot um from the sit and the citrus from the earl gray um, it's just it just gets you it's really refreshing and it's not so much a summer scent because it's not as citrusy as some of the other you know uh, the more citrus forward scents but it is it is this is one of the ones where I would actually go into the bathroom and just open it and smell it and um, of course the aftershave um, the aftershave has uh, it's really refreshing it says uh, it's from uh, from reef points shock and awe line and if you put it on if you've used it and you get that first shock of the alcohol, you know why it's called shock and all, but it's really just refreshing. It kind of tightens everything up and the scent is just really, really, really good. I still got it on my hands. It's fantastic. And the shave was really, really good. So I attached the photo of the shave of the day. I used uh, the um, flare tip adjustable that I won in Scott Oster Miller's raffle from Delta Echo Razors. And I really, I really like that as well. But um, I still really enjoy my Phoenix double open comb, which is still my favorite razor. Um, all right, and then I followed it up with, I've been getting into the frag, the fragrance game uh, the last few months, and um, there's the Facebook page called Totally Fragrance Raffles. If you're into the fragrances and you haven't, um, you know, you haven't checked it out, uh, it's a good way to try and get, get a hold of some higher end um, designer and, and niche uh, scents um, without spending a lot of money now it is borderline gambling because you're buying raffle spots and if i mean you know how the shave gear raffles works if you, you buy spots and if you win then you want something cool for just a few dollars but um if you go on a streak of of not winning um then then of course you you kind of i don't want to say you wasted that money because if you would have won it would have been cool but um they have one of those for fragrances as well and i followed it up with this scent here it's called Lumanist by a company called Frappen. And uh, real quick, scent profile. I thought it went well with that because the top notes um, in this scent is, I'm looking on, at some notes here. It comes out with uh, lemon, bergamot, cardamom, pink pepper, and black pepper. So it gets you a, a good spiciness on the top notes. And then it's followed by uh, juniper berries, nutmeg, and thyme. And then the base is gin, oak moss, and tonka. Um, which, uh, you know, some of the, some of the artisans use Tonka and some of their, uh, aftershaves and stuff. So, but that was my shave of the day today. What are, the main reason I am, um, doing this video, like I said, I've been sitting on it for a while is I lost the page. Hold on. Um, back in Riverside. Um, and I mentioned it when I did my last video with the stuff that we got, you know, in the swag bag and stuff. Um, I got to meet this guy, the owner of regiment gear. Dot com named Eric Trejo. Um, Eric, shout out to you, brother. How you doing? Uh, Eric is a veteran. He's a he's an, uh, a fellow uh, former army former army guy, and uh, 
we were uh, swapping stories about he was stationed at Fort Lewis, Washington, not the same time as me, but um, I was there once upon a time as well, and we were kind of kind of shooting the shit about um, about Fort Lewis and the surrounding area and, and, and stuff that we used to do while we hung out there. But uh, Eric's a good guy. He started his company, Regiment Gear, um, and on his website he has, uh, you know, he's got the standard fare. He's got soaps and, and some uh, commercial shaving brushes like Omega and... Um, He's got, here, hang on. He's got a few things. He's got, you know, on his menu, shaving soap, shaving brushes, brush stands, razors. Um, you know, feel free to check it out. Obviously, I don't want to tell you everything on the website right now. But um, what he had, he had on display a few of his, uh, a few of his, of his shaving soaps. They come in a three and a half ounce size, standard tin, kind of like you used to get from Douglas. Um... And the, it's, it's not a puck, it's poured in there. And, um, set strength, I bought two of them, because I, I wanted to help him out, you know, he was just starting up, and of course he's a veteran. Um, I bought two, but I also, in the bag, the swag bag, there was a sample of one of these, so I've been using that. And it's good performance, good slickness, the, 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 uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's a great soap. And um, what the only thing I would wish was a little bit stronger scent. That's it. Um, if you like uh, not so, and I love really strong scents. If you if you're not into the really strong scents, then I think this is right up your alley. I think um, one to five um, scent strength. I'm gonna give it like a three, three and a half. Um, but again, if that's not your bag, then this will be right up your alley. Um, I have the scent called Reveille, and then the scent called top gun okay what he does is he has one two three four five six seven eight right now on his website he's showing eight different scents and they're all kind of named after kind of military terms like he has one called um well aqua de joe j-o-e aqua de joe um and you can probably pretty much guess uh what that one's after what that one's um kind of cloned after he has one called Bravura, Bravura, which which is Latin for bravery. He has one called Charms Lime, and he explained that to me as if you were in the military and you're familiar with the MREs, then you know that the best part of those MREs was the Charms candies that came with them. So he called it Charms Lime because it's going to be lime scented, and it's going to going to follow that idea of you know the throwback to the to the old MREs. Um, Fiddler's Green, which uh, he he. Uh, describes as uh, similar to green Irish tweed and uh, cool water so um, that's Fiddler's Green he's having a sale right now by the way too a lot of these scents are, are a couple bucks off um, they're normally $13.99 some of these are $11.99 some are even $9.99 so um, his barbershop scent is called High and Tight um, he has one called High Speed and then Reveille and Top Gun Reveille of course is the French word for that horn sound you hear in the morning, the bugle call that says to get up, it goes duck duck da 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 da. That's Reveille. So, um, so that one is described as. Hold on, it's described as refreshing notes of bay leaf, fir needle, cedar wood, bergamot, and warm tobacco. And I'm going to tell you, I get pretty much all those things. You take the longer, the longer draw of the scent, and the tobacco really comes through. It's really, it's it's really refreshing with the bergamot and the fur, um, and it finishes off really nicely with that coffee. And then Top Gun, he described to me as, um, you know, since it was an '80s movie, it's kind of scents from the '80s. It's it's um, on the his his scent description is. Unfortunately, it says it's sold out right now, but you'll have a chance to win this one here. Um, what would you think of if you thought of an 80s fighter pilot? What scent would he be wearing? I'm pretty sure it would be manly, macho, and very popular. Dracar Noir. I can get that from this. From this, um, Like the 80s scent, this is, an, this is an aromatic fougere with spicy berries, citrus, lavender, and amber. Ah, man, it's refreshing. This is a good one as well. So what I'm going to be doing is I want you to... And I haven't seen a lot of uh, regiment on the on the pages, and or uh, especially on any of the videos, but... Um, what I'm going to do is also to kind of help my viewership, I did pass 100, 101 viewers.
subscribers. That's right. So uh, thanks to everybody who's who's following me. I, I've noticed that some have come, some have gone, which is okay. Um, but those of you who have remained, I really appreciate it. But what I'm doing here, and I've never done a giveaway before, so bear with me if I screw it up. But what I'm doing is um, I'm going to be giving away these two. One is Reveille, one is Top Gun. Um, again, check out regimentgear.com. Eric Trejo is a great guy. Um, like I said, fellow veteran. And if you want to help him out, like I said, he's got good prices. Um, he's got, like I said, accessories, brushes, shave stands, razors. Um, but check it out. Um, what, what, to enter this, what you need to do is uh, comment on the video. Please subscribe and like as well. Um, I prefer that you do it on the video underneath. But if, you, if you're linking to this from Facebook, you can comment on the Facebook page as well. Uh, let me know that you're in. I will close this. Today is Thursday. Let's close it on Saturday at noon. Let's close it Sunday at noon. Um, and let me know if you're in for the giveaway. And then I will do... Um, I'll draw names. I'll do it old school. I'll write the names down and pull a piece of paper out because the technology with like random.org and stuff like that is kind of beyond me. So so I'll draw the names and then I'll do the video of pulling the name out. Maybe I'll have Michael do it or something. Um, but again, giveaway soaps. Uh, let me know if you're in. Regimentgear.com. Reveille. Top Gun. If you want to know more about the soaps and the products and the scent profiles, go to his website, regimentgear.com. And check it out. So, um, again, like, subscribe, comment either underneath or on my Facebook. And let me know if you're in for this giveaway. All right. Um, sorry it took so long. Like I said, this was this event was back on July 30th. And I'm just getting to it now. So, um, check it out. Good to be back. Um, I'm going to be switching to night shift in a, in a couple of weeks. So, that will allow me to make more videos during the day. Um, so, and I know that you guys have all missed me so much, so, but be well, everybody be cool, be nice to each other, and I will see you guys soon. Peace.